So um, I'm Lucy McFadden, and I'm in the, the uh, Planetary Systems Lab here at Goddard Space Flight Center. And I have I studied asteroids and comets, and what they what that tells us about the origin of the solar system. Ceres is the largest asteroid in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Ceres was the first asteroid discovered, um, and it was discovered in 1801. And when it was discovered, um, it was first called a planet. The Dawn mission is one of NASA's Discovery Program missions that launched in September of 2007. So it's had a long, circuitous journey from the Earth, um, flying past Mars and out to the asteroid 4 Vesta, where it spent a year orbiting this small, rocky object uh, and mapped its surface and determined its, its bulk composition and uh, geological aspects of, of Vesta before leaving the gravitational field of Vesta and traveling for another three years out to uh, the dwarf planet Ceres. Ahuna Mons is a pyramid-shaped structure that we found on the surface of, of Ceres um, when we arrived in the high altitude orbit. We were very excited about it because it was just sticking up there, uh, you know, all by itself. Um, so some people called it the Lonely Mountain. Um, and because of this unique shape that we hadn't seen anything like it before in the solar system, we were, we were curious about you know, how it formed um, and, and what, what produced that shape. We first considered the formation mechanism for Ahuna Mons via an impact event. Um, and we eliminated that because First of all, it's not in the center of a crater, um, which often forms a, a central peak um, due to rebound from a cratering event. But there's no, there's no crater around, you know, that's centered all around Ahuna Mons. Um, so the evidence for this being directly related to an impact event is not there. When we saw Ahuna Mons, we saw that its shape was very tall. It was very tall and had steep slopes. And that reminded us of certain places in the solar system, including Earth and Mars, that had uh, domes that were formed by volcanic activity of very slow-moving, thick material. However, on Ceres, the temperatures are so cold that the same type of, of magma on Earth and Mars just doesn't, can't exist on Ceres. So we then concluded that the, the magma, or the material that's flowing on Ceres, had to be composed of mostly very salty water that would um, flow at the low temperatures of Ceres. And when exposed to the surface, when they were pushed out onto the surface, they would freeze and form this steep-sided dome that we observed of called Ahuna Mons. So the, upon finding Ahuna Mons and measuring its dimensions, um, we find that it's, a, that it's four kilometers high and has a very narrow base. And it clearly is a, a, a volcanic dome that, that pushed up above the thin crust of Ceres. And there are only a few other places in the solar system where there are constructs that we believe are formed by cryovolcanism. However, Ahuna Mons is the only sharp peaked feature that exists as a lonely mountain in the solar system. Other places um, on, on uh, Titan is, shows a mountain range of materials. Other regions on Triton um, also show a, a different features. So Ahuna Mons is unique in the solar system. There's no other place in the solar system that has a structure that matches that of, of Ahuna Mons. And it has to be formed by cryovolcanic activity. Um, so if, if Ahuna Mons is a cryovolcano, which we have demonstrated that it is, um, that tells us that there has to be something beneath the surface of Ceres, near Ahuna Mons, that that heated the material to the melting point 
and, and made it push through the cracks on the surface. Um, we're not sure what that material is. It's probably something, some enrichment in radioactive elements, um, possibly potassium uh, or, or other radioactive elements. But what surprises us is that this happened so recently. And we would expect that over four and a half billion years, which is the age of the solar system, and the planets formed quickly, shortly after the solar system was a rotating disk of gas and dust, in over four and a half billion years, most of the radioactive materials should have released their heat. And, and we expected Ceres to be a cold rock. Um, but sure enough, here's the evidence that it is not. It's an active protoplanet, and it's recently active. And that's really surprising.